Every year, Autoblog tests the latest and the greatest technologies that are reshaping the automotive sector. This year, we had three compelling entrants. The onboard scales and smart hitch in the Ford F-150 Lightning. We crab walked in the GMC Hummer EV. That was a lot of fun. We tested out the facial recognition and fingerprint technology as tested in the Genesis GV60. We rated these technologies a number of different ways. Of course, we looked at the wow factor. How fun are they? Because it's technology, it's supposed to be fun. We talked about how significant are they? And of course, finally, it all comes down to how well do these technologies work? Hello there, I'm John Snyder with Autoblog, and we're doing our tech of the year testing. Behind me is the 2023 Genesis GV60 electric crossover. And the tech in this is biometric scanning, which includes fingerprints for starting the car, as well as facial recognition for locking and unlocking the vehicle. Let's check it out. First things first, I'm gonna set my fingerprint. So you go to setup, user profile, fingerprint identification, and you have to have the key fobs in the car while you do this. Then you enter the password, set or delete fingerprint, delete whatever's on there, hit consent and set, and now it tells you how to do it. Place your finger on this little sensor right here. Lift it off, place the center, and now it's setting my fingerprint, and it's set. So now I can use that to start the vehicle, unlock my driver profile, or turn off valet mode. Next, let's set up the facial recognition. It's in that same driver profile menu. Again, you enter your password, and it's going to give you some verbal instructions here. Please step out of the vehicle and look straight into the camera. So now I stare at this little camera right here. Facial recognition set. And now it knows my face and I can use that to lock and unlock the car. Now to start the car, I can't just press the start stop button. I have to use the fingerprint and it scans it real quick and now it's ready to go. Voila. And now when it's time to leave, I turn off the car. While I'm looking at the camera, I press the door handle again. And it's locked and I can go. And that's the tech in the 2023 Genesis GV60. Zach Palmer for Autoblog here at Autoblog's Technology of the Year Award testing. Right behind me, we have the GMC Hummer EV, and we are going to be testing the crab walk mode. So how about we hop in and see what it's all about? What exactly is crab walk? Well, at its core, it's basically a very fancy four-wheel steering system. We've seen four-wheel steering systems before on cars, but this one takes it in a slightly different direction than what we've seen. Previously, you turn the wheel, the front wheels turn, and then the rear wheels would turn in the opposite direction in most four-wheel steering systems. However, in the Hummer, you have crab walk mode, which allows the rear wheels to turn in the same direction as the fronts, the same extreme 10 degrees that they do for the opposite direction. And what that ultimately allows you to do is to drive along diagonally instead of having a very tight turning radius like most four-wheel steering systems allow. Why is that useful? Well, when you're off-road driving, you might need to navigate around a certain obstacle where driving diagonally would be very helpful. So how do you turn it on? Well, you have your little mode dial down here and an actual button that has all four wheels turned in the same direction. That's your crab mode activator. So all you have to do is hold that button for six seconds and you will eventually get an animation in the dash pop up. So once that bubble is full, crab walk mode will be on and you can drive along diagonally. You'll notice that some cameras pop up right there on the system, showing you the view directly underneath the, the front end. And then an also 360 degree view because you're assumedly using this when you're off road and want to see what's going on around you. It also has a 26 mile per hour ish top speed, uh, which is Plenty of speed actually when you're moving off road. So let's drive and see what it looks like. 
You can see that we're moving diagonally down the road here. It's quite entertaining. The car just feels like it's sliding and slithering down the road. Uh, this would be really cool if you're in like a muddy off-road trail and just slide it back and forth. If you're just trying to turn with it regularly, um, it doesn't have that much of a turning radius. Well, it, uh, I, I guess it's, I should say it's, it's a much higher turning radius because both wheels are turned in the same direction. So it's actually even worse than if there were no rear wheel steering at all. But moving diagonally is so dang cool. This is a lot of fun. And that is Hummer EV Crab Mode. We are at the 2022 Autoblog Tech of the Year testing competition. This is a Ford F-150 Lightning, and we're here to test two technologies, the Smart Hitch and the Onboard Scales. Let's take a look. So the first thing we're gonna test is the Smart Hitch. We've already got a small trailer from U-Haul hooked up to the trailer hitch. So we need to go to the uh, Smart Hitch mode here in the infotainment screen. You can see we've already hit that button. The next thing we're gonna do is quick setup. Here, we have an instruction that says, all, add all cargo in the truck, then reset the hitch weight. So let's do that. Reset the hitch weight. We'll say yes. Hitch weight is reset to zero. Next, we're gonna enter the total weight of the loaded trailer. We'll hit the button to do that. Our weight is about 800 pounds, which includes 600 for the trailer and one 200 pound autoblogger. So I'll set it to 800 pounds. Confirm. Next. Now we see this graph right here. The red means it's loaded improperly. The green means it's loaded properly. You can go improperly too far in the back of the trailer or too far in the front. All right, Byron, go ahead and hop in. So as you can see, Byron's at the back of the trailer right now and we are improperly loaded. Go ahead and start moving forward. And as he moves forward, you'll see this line start to move up. And oh, we're good. Now we've gone too far. So go ahead and back up. And when you're in this green, you'll get a check mark that says you're good to go. And that's how it's done. So that is the smart hitch. Pretty cool tech. Now we're going to take a look at the onboard scales. Again, from the uh, vehicle screen, we're in smart hitch now. We're going to hit onboard scales. We get the same messages as before, and then we get this handy graph that gives you uh, a visual representation of how much weight of the payload you've taken up. So, Byron, you wanna climb in the truck bed again? So now, as Byron gets into the bed of the pickup truck, you can see the scale move. Hey, Joel, you wanna put some weight in the front trunk? One neat thing about this uh, uh, technology is it will measure weight in the front and the rear so as we can see, the uh, weight screen went back up. So that's how the system works. And when people get out of the uh, front trunk and pickup truck bed, go ahead and get out there, Joel. Byron, you can go ahead and hop out. We'll see the uh, bar fall back into the green area. Pretty cool technology. After much debate, a little bit of arguing, we reached a verdict. The winner, the 2022 Autoblog Technology of the Year, is the Onboard Scales and Smart Hitch in the Ford F-150 Lightning.